what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko and today i'm excited because in yesterday's video we showed off the true king dino deck profile and in today's video what we're going to be doing is showing off some combos that you need to know if you want to play true king dino in today's brand new february 2023 post ban list format now if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel we upload a whole 10 videos a week five long videos five shorts you guys will get combo videos deck profiles dual replays all that good stuff you'll see it right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe for all that and with that let's get right into some combos that you need to know all right so in yesterday's video you guys got to see the deck profile and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys some two card combos abusing lithosagem's effect but also some dino combos that you need to know in general so let's get into the combos here i just wanted to show you guys the deck profile again real quick i'm really excited to get into the combos so for the first combo over here, I really want to show you guys the diagram plus baby combo. The thing this combo lets you do is abuse lithosagem, which is now off the ban list. So I want to show you guys how this combo now works. Let's start things off by activating our diagram here, of course. And we're going to use the diagram effect to pop the baby Sarasaurus that's in our hand, searching the lithosagem from our deck to our hand. Now we're going to get to activate the baby Sarasaurus effect in the graveyard to special summon an OV Raptor from our deck to our side of the field directly, activating its effect so that now we can search another baby to our hand now why are we going to search another baby is because if you guys haven't noticed we still have an extra normal summon so here what we're going to do is we're going to actually normal summon the baby sarasaurus and then we're going to use the ov effect to pop the baby so that we can now summon another baby from our graveyard and then this baby will now trigger so that we can summon a baby from our deck so at this point here you guys see that we have two babies on our side of the field two earth monsters we're going to activate the lithosagem effect pop the two babies to summon the litho and then litho is going to get to trigger now to look at our opponent's extra deck so here now we're going to know what our opponent is playing up against obviously we're playing the quote-unquote mirror match here so uh we're looking at our own extra deck essentially but what we're going to get to do now is banish three of those cards so in this case let's just banish three random cards here obviously depending on the matchup that you're going against you're going to banish different cards in this case if i was randomly going in the mirror match i'd obviously want to get rid of the scrap wyvern and i want to get rid of the savage and probably a link Rebo here or something like that right but it doesn't matter any matchup now you have information on what the matchup is the really good thing about this combo is you can choose now how you want to end your board based off what the matchup is looking like so if you're playing against something like Kostra, you know monster effects is going to be really relevant so that's one of the best parts about lithosagem over here because now you have information on what your opponent is playing you get cards out of their extra deck which is really nice now what we're going to be able to do is trigger both the babies that were just destroyed in our graveyard and we're going to be able to summon two cards from our deck the first one being arcosaur and the second one being your petite pteranodon all right so we're going to summon arco we're going to summon petite arco is going to get to trigger now on summon to pop the petite pteranodon over here and then we're going to be able to search the double evolution pill now what's really cool about this you're going to get to trigger your petite pteranodon and you're going to be able to summon your scrap raptor from your deck directly now what you can do here is you can activate the scrap raptor effect so that you can get an extra normal summon and what you're going to do is just pop this lithosagem over here because you really have no use for it anymore you got what you needed out of it and then of course what we're going to do here is we're going to go into link Rebo ourselves with our archosaur and then use the link Rebo as well as the scrap raptor to summon your scrap wyvern all right so now we're going to get to this point we're going to activate the scrap wyvern effect summon back the scrap raptor Raptor, and we're gonna pop the scrap raptor okay so we're gonna pop this so now that we get the scrap raptor effect let's go chain link one scrap raptor because the normal summon is really important here and then we're gonna go chain link two scrap wyvern just special summon from one from our deck the reason we do it this way is because even if they have something like an ash for the scrap wyvern and you don't get the special from deck it's not a big issue because the scrap chimera in your hand is really really important to this combo right so with a scrap wyvern we're gonna get to summon a scrap raptor from a deck and then we're gonna get to pop a card on the field let's pop the diagram we don't need the diagram anymore and then the scrap raptor that was just popped in the graveyard is going to get to search a scrap chimera and remember we do have the extra normal summon so what we're going to do now is we're going to normal summon the scrap chimera here and then use its effect to summon back the scrap chimera from our graveyard all right so here now you guys can see we have enough materials for apollyusa however just before we go into apollo i want to say that the whole point of litho is to see what your opponent's playing so now let's say we're playing against kostra where you know monster effects are really relevant and you don't want to get their monster effects off whether it be unicorn or fenrir or any other cards like that what you can do is you can actually just make rank four monsters keep in mind there are monsters like baguska that you have access to logia dolka you have access to a lot of these cards that you guys can make with these monsters on the board here right so it all kind of depends how you want to structure your board and that's the best part about lithosagem right but the generic combo that what we typically like to do is we like to go apple with these three over here so we get a three material appaloosa so we have three monster negates and then with these two here you can go either into borrowed savage dragon because savage is going to count as an omni negate for you which is really nice so we can go into savage but here you keep in mind you 
you can go into Logia, you can go into Dolka, you can, there's so many different options that you can go into. So just always keep that in mind when you guys are building your boards in Dino. When you look at what your opponent's playing in their extra deck, you get to build their board accordingly. So this board could have also just kept the Scrap Wyvern on field and ended on like a Baguska plus another rank four, potentially, right? Or a link two, so you could go into IP plus a Baguska, right? Because then at least this way on your opponent's turn, you can use IP and your Scrap Wyvern to go into Apollo, and then you have the Baguska, so Apollo's gonna be live, Baguska's gonna make it so your opponent can't play. Do you guys see where I'm getting with this? There's so many different ways to go about this combo. So here, we're just gonna use the double evolution pill, banish two, doesn't really matter what we banish, and summon our Conductor Tyranno, all right? So here, you have this as a typical board, but again, there's so many different other boards that you guys can make with this. And I'm actually gonna rewind a little and show you guys different variations of this end board because this is a true king dino combo video and i really want to show you guys what true king dino can do obviously the dino combos that i'm going to show you guys later are just standard dino combos you guys have seen it a million times before but this is really important to know all right, so let's just say we're back at this point in our combo rather than making the Savage Dragon and the Apollo. What's something else you can do with this board? The really nice thing is Chimera can be used for cards like Baguska. It can be used for cards like IP. So here's another really cool board that you guys can make. You can make IP here. And this is another one that I like to do. So you go IP Masquerina under this. And then with these two, rather than making something like a Savage Dragon, which of course would be nice, but let's say we're playing against Floanderies or we're playing against Sprite or any deck that really loses to a card like Baguska we can just set up the Baguska, right? So we're gonna set up the Baguska here. And then what kind of board does this give you? Now you still have double evolution pill. The really nice thing about a board like this one is you don't actually have to go double evolution pill right away because the Baguska is gonna be turning off your Conductor Tyranno. So if you do the combo this way, it lets you save the double evolution pill and have a follow up for your next turn. But what this combo lets you do is it lets you on your opponent's turn, use the IP and the Scrap Wyvern to go into something like an Apollo. You could also potentially go into something like a Unicorn, which is really nice. And then what this lets you do is essentially, is that if your opponent has an out for the Baguska, so let's say you have an Imperm or something like that, what you guys can do is because your opponent has now found an out to the Baguska, you can just use that Baguska as a material with IP, again, go into Unicorn, go into Apollo, and there's so many different other options that you guys can do. I just want to show you guys this variation as well. You can also go into Lagia here if you wanted to, you can go into Dolka here if you wanted to, again, so many different options. All right, so this two card combo is a two card combo that if you ever played Dino, you should know this combo. I just wanted to show it to you guys as well here because I think it's important to know. On top of that, this combo can be done with so many different two card variations. It could be OV plus baby, like you guys are gonna see here, but it could be OV plus misc, it could be misc plus baby, it could be OV plus fossil dig, misc plus fossil dig, baby plus fossil dig. So there's so many different ways you guys can do this, all right? So you're gonna start off by normal summoning our OV Raptor and activate the OV Raptor here to search the missing piece. In this case, we have the baby, so the missing piece is misc, but if we have the misc the missing pieces maybe and then you would search the baby instead but here we're going to search the misc of course we're going to be able to activate the misc effect here which is really nice because it's going to be able to protect our dinos we're going to be able to activate the misc in the graveyard here i'm going to go through this one really quickly because if you guys have ever played dino i feel like you should know this two card combo but again i just want to show it to you guys here as well we're going to activate the archosaur and we're going to be able to pop the baby sarasaurus that's in our hand and search the double evolution pill baby's going to get to trigger here which is really powerful to summon another baby from our deck then what we're going to be able to do is activate Activate our OV Raptor effect to pop the baby Sarasaurus on our side of the field to summon another baby from the graveyard over here. You're not going to want to summon the one that you popped because you need it in the graveyard. But then this is going to get the trigger now to search your Scrap Raptor, all right? So what you can do here now is activate your Scrap Raptor to pop the baby Sarasaurus just so that now you get the extra normal summon, but then the baby is going to be able to summon another baby from your deck. You can also summon Petit Pteranodon here, but we're just going to summon the baby. And then what you can do here is you can make the Link Karibo with the Archosaur. I always like making the Link Karibo just in case somewhere in your combo where they disrupt you you'll have a non-dino in the graveyard so that you can use that double evolution pill now this combo naturally puts non-dinos in the graveyard however this combo is obviously not accounting for hand traps and other disruptions right in this case you're always going to be able to put a non-dino with your link Kribo, which is really nice so what we're going to be able to do here now is we're going to be able to make our Scrap Wyvern with our Scrap Raptor as well as our Link Karibo. And then we're gonna activate its effect to summon back the Scrap Raptor here. So now what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to pop the Scrap Raptor. And what that's gonna let us do is gonna get us our summon for our Scrap Wyvern from our deck. And it's also gonna let us search a Scrap Chimera from our deck with our Scrap Raptor here. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna summon the Scrap Raptor from the deck. And now we get to pop a card in our field. Let's just pop the Baby Sarasaurus because Baby is now gonna get the trigger. And we're gonna summon a Giant Rex. This is why I said you could also do Petit Pteranodon. But in 
this case, we're just going to summon our giant Rex. Then what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your scrap Chimera and activate its effect to summon our scrap Raptor back from the graveyard here, which is really nice. Then you're going to go into a three material Appaloosa here. You're going to use the giant Rex. Specifically, you want this one in the graveyard. You want the Chimera as well as the Wyvern. We're going to go into three material Appaloosa. Then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to use these two cards to go into something like a Savage Dragon. Again, this could be a Dolka. This could be another Ixies monster, but we're just going to go into Savage Dragon over here using these two to make a Savage and then using the Savage effect, of course, to add our Scrap Wyvern to it. It's going to be at 3850 and have two negates once each turn. Then what you're going to be able to do is activate your double evolution pill, banishing the giant Rex as well as one of the non-dinos. Again, you naturally put Chimera in your graveyard, but just in case sometimes your combos get stopped, you have the Link Rebo in there just in case. But here we're just going to banish Scrap Chimera. We're going to be able to summon our Tyranno from our deck here. Giant Rex is going to get to trigger to summon itself back onto the field. And then we're going to be able to use the Scrap Raptor as well as the giant Rex for a rank four. So in this case, we have three monster negates and the Omni negate. So what we can do here is one of two things. We can make a Logia for another spell trap negate or we can make Dolka for more monster negates. Now this all depends on what you're going up against, if you know what you're going up against. If you think it's something that really relies on its monster effects really heavily, you can go into Dolka. But if it's in games two or games three and you're worried about a blowout card, something that your opponent can break your board with, a lightning storm, something like that, Logia could be really good here as well. So again, you can go Logia or Dolka. It doesn't really matter. There's no right or wrong answer here. It all depends on what you're playing up against. Let's just go into Dolka for the sake of the video here. So let's say you go into Dolka and then boom, you're ending on one, two, three negates with Apo, you're ending on four or five negates with Doka, you're ending on a sixth negate with Savage Dragon, and you're ending on the Conductor Tyranno, which is a seventh disruption. So you're ending on six negates plus a seventh disruption, all with just a two card combo. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, these were some combos that you need to know to play True King Dino in today's format. Now, keep in mind that there's so many different combos this deck can do. These are ones that you just definitely need to know. And again, there's so many different Dino combos without the True King stuff. And I've done a ton of videos in the past on the channel. So if you guys want to check those out, you guys can always check out the channel, go through the videos, and you'll find a ton of Dino combo videos. But I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you guys took away something from this video. If you guys did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. Yep five days a week here on the channel but a whole 10 videos a week we do five long videos five short videos deck profiles combo videos dual replays vlogs all that good stuff you'll catch it right here on the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i appreciate every single one of you guys for being here from the bottom of my heart i wouldn't be here without you guys so thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out peace